Hello everyone, and welcome back to Nikkei. Let's claim our daily supply. Then we got some arena. We only got 1600. I was literally logging out uh, before the rest, but it seems like the people now know how to get the spot. So I'll have to do some crazy stuff to get it from now on. That's 2k, so we have 400 less gems than we would normally have, which is kind of annoying, but what can you do? Dailies. Build you everything you need. Hope you put it to good use. Thank you. Claim both Looks of these. Got Just in time, dear client. Welcome, fellow shopaholic. Doesn't it feel great spending another successful transaction? Can I help you with anything else? Are you looking for something? Let me help you. <laughs> Yeah, I cannot do these either. I need to wait for the rewards to come by mail. Anyways, I can claim another one of these. Uh, now let's go for the free recruit of the day. Not that good. Uh, let's go discounted recruit of the day. Also not that good. And then we have six of these social points. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. In the inventory, we can open one of these cubes. Saka. Uh, open that box. And all of these, I suppose, we can do as well. Alright, before I do anything else, though, I want to do the event because it ends in 13 hours. So it's kind of important. Let's just go through the list. Story 2. Today I need to collect all 61 of these relics. Which is gonna take some time, but that's why I'm here. I shall grant you victory, your grace. So that is done. Now let's go for the Unhappy. challenge. I'm doing quite well. Fancy a drink? Uh, so yesterday I tried to I tried to stream this, but I didn't get the time. But I did do my daily, so at least that's something. Uh, okay, let's do this mission quickly. I'm so excited for the next event that's coming out tomorrow. That's gonna be fun. All right, claim all of those. Wonderful. I claim the mission. Unwrapped. And I guess let's go through the list. Um, yeah. I'll move as quickly as I can. Starting with Ugh, you. Hungry. On the move. Proceeding to target. There's gonna be a lot of these. To get. Ugh, hungry. Proceeding to target. Record number three playback. I am Dorothy, Grimm's model number two, and I have been assigned to the Goddess Squad. Looking forward to working with you all. Wow, someone else finally passed. Turns out there's actually are people compatible with the program. You are an EK, aren't you? Yeah, correct. 
From the outside, Yurn's distinguishable from a real human. Hey, aren't I an EK too? Sure, but your appearance is slightly different from a human's. Oh! Mecha Destructor! My apologies for the commander's behavior. He sometimes goes on these nonsensical tangents. Jeez, if it feels like you tore my arm out of the socket. I'm fine, don't worry. This other than quite what I imagine it would be. What is it? I thought everything would have a bit of more of a refined air to it. More noble, perhaps. Especially considering there were uh, we are the last line of defense between mankind and complete annihilation. Are you somehow implying that we are crass? No, I didn't mean that. I just didn't expect you all to be so laid back. We get our fair share of tension on the battlefield. Don't we have to make the most of whatever fun we can have? Did you say your name was Dorothy? Yes. What's your battle experience? None. Have you ever fired a weapon? N negative. Not even in a simulation? No. Why in the world are we going to find a use for you? I can be of use, I assure you. I have everything I need to know up here, in my head. Ah, so you are another one of those types. In lieu of practical experience, you've got all-encompassing knowledge of various theories or strategies, and you believe you can be deployed straight away. You know what all these kinds of people have in common? You get killed. It sucks for them. Are you even listening to what I'm saying? Dorothy, at this point, we can't put much faith in your professed skills. So if it's okay with you, I would like to contact the test. Hmm. If I'm being honest, I'm a bit offended. I realize we've just only met, but to say that you don't trust me is straight to my face? We just don't want any of our members getting killed. So if you think someone would last long on the field, you won't accept them to begin with? It might sound harsh, but yes. It's up to you. You can refuse the test, but if you do, you won't be able to join the team. Let's get this over with. One hour later. Are we done? Any other tests? Hmm. Were the results no good? I personally thought I did well, but maybe I didn't meet your standards. Welcome to the Goddess Squad. Okay. You did amazing! I think you even broke a few records! Are you sure you are new to all this? Alright, it's party time. We were given an allowance to hold some festivities, but we were told we couldn't spend it between just the two of us. If we don't use it by tomorrow, we'll have to return the funds. Finally, we got to have a party! Hey, hey Candy. Uh, it's doing well. Just finishing all of these stories. Sounds fun. Ah, there's something I would like to ask you, just for the record. Go ahead. What was your reason for becoming an EK? Hmm. I want to go back to the past. If I defeat all of these infernal creatures, I believe things can go back to how they used to be. You can see your chat, yes. Hmm, okay, I understand. You can't go back to the past. Matter! No matter what the outcome of this battle is, the past that you are longing for is gone. However, you can unleash your frustrations on those things that ruined your life and made it part of the past that can never be reclaimed. Like that too. Playback ends. Alright, so we need to collect more of these. On the move. Oh, well, there's one here. Let me just move this map. Okay. I'll move as quickly as there's I can. There's another one there. On route. One here. One next to it. When did I start playing I'll this game? Uh, as as let's say. On the move. It must be like seven, eight months at this point, I think. Record number three, playback two. My name is Rapunzel. I'm Grim's model number three, and I've been assigned to the Goddess Squad. I'm glad to be part of the team. What exactly are you? She looks like a nun. Is that what you are? Yes. Where did you say you came from? I'm from VTC. When you say VTC, do you mean the medical center operated by the church group? Yes, that's correct. Now that I think about it, your face looks like kind of familiar. 
Weren't you the leading candidate to assume the pa papacy? I left the dead behind. Why? You had such a bright future ahead of you. You couldn't bear to sit back watching all the suffering in this world and not do anything about it. Yet despite my desire to stand up and do something, I found myself in an environment where human dignity had perished. And base survival was the driving force beyond all decisions. It's powerless to do anything. That's when I heard about all of you. Stories circulated about how you all were a beacon of light bringing hope back to the world. I wanted to be part of that. That's why I'm here. I wish to become a goddess of victory. Faith alone will not get us through this trial. The time has come for us to take up arms. That is why I was determined to be eligible for this program. You speak like a saint. Truly. Holy warrior. Looking forward to working with you, all. As we are. May I ask what kind of skills you have? Ah, yes. I'm quite adept at praying. Once I prayed continuously for three entire days without any rest. I've also garnered praise for my preaching and public speaking engagements. I even participated in the church co choir. Uh, I was referring more to your skills in battle. Oh, my apologies. The staff that I use is the power of the regenerated Godesium. Godesium? What game do you enjoy the most? Uh... If I had to say the most enjoyable game series ever, that would have to be Yakuza. That's the best series ever made. And after that, probably Assassin's Creed. Those are the two series I just love. Remind me what that is again. It's what our bodies are all composed of. I knew that. I was just testing to make sure you knew. Here you were. Anyway, how is regenerating Godesium out of thin air even possible? To be more precise, I can replenish small amounts of Godesian particles in damaged areas. For example, I would be able to undo the damage done by a gunshot. So it's like filling up a hole? Wouldn't it negatively affect certain functions? Not at all. I'm well versed in our internal structures. This knowledge was imparted to me during the process of becoming an Ike. I therefore know precisely what each individual part of our body requires in order to function normally. You're a healer as well. A woman of many talents. Indeed. As long as we got uh, you on our team, we can fight without a care in the world. I would still urge you all to exercise caution in battle. I can heal certain injuries up to a point, but if the wounds are too severe, my powers won't be of much use. I also have a beam of uh, distortion ability, and my hair also acts as a scrambler for certain electronics. Although my physical prowess may not uh, measure up to the rest of you, I'll be able to provide you with adequate support and allow you to focus on the fight. Are you able to heal the humans as well? I'm afraid not. Oh, that's too bad? Why do you ask? The commander is the one who's always getting hurt. Humans are such a frail creatures, so I find it mystifying why he insists on standing at the very front in the battle. Hey, I'm nothing to sneeze at. It's just that you are all so freakishly strong. Anyway, once you get unpacked... I'll give you a tour of the airship's interior. Uh, I don't really feel like using webcams, it's too much of a hassle to set up and then you need to look good on the camera. Nah, that's too much work. Wait, did you not bring any luggage with you? No, I brought a few... Uh, wait! Oh dear, I was in such a rush that I must have forgotten to bring my things. What should I do now? We're quite a ways from the VTC. They don't deliver here, do they? He's a bit absent-minded, that's for sure. Totally hard, Brangnet. Lights are on, but no one's home. Playback ends. Alright, more things to pick up. Proceeding to target. Alright. Another one. Okay, record number three, playback. Rear detachment, you're late. What are you all doing? That rapture just emitted some kind of EMP. All of our weapons are malfunctioning. My scrambler isn't working either. Nor is my staff. This is bad. We'll have to take the fight close to them. Stay behind us, commander. We are about to engage in close quarters combat, and we won't be able to protect you. 
Have you all gone mad? You're all specialized in firearms, not CQC. I'm ordering a retreat. But if we are unable to defend this place? I know, we'll lose one of our biggest weapons depositories. But none of our assets here are even close to being as valuable as you all are. Losing you would be far more devastating blow. So I'm telling you, retreat. Everyone, prepare to retreat. No worries, Candy. Uh, excuse me, can I check the weapons real quick? What's a kid doing in a place like this? Who are you? Uh, I'm Snow White, Grimm's model number four. I wanted to give a proper self-introduction, but considering how desperate the situation is, we'll have to skip the formalities for the moment. Huh. Snow White. There's no time, hand over your weapons to me and I'll fix them. No, we have to retreat. We've got to fall back. Just give me a minute! I can fix it! Lily Wise, can you hold out for one more minute? Yeah, like I said, I'm not gonna use a webcam. It's just too much of a hassle to like set up and then, you know, you need good lighting, then you need to actually look good on the camera. There's too much to do. Or Snow White? Of course I can. You heard that, Snow White. You've got one minute. Understood. A moment later. All clear. Nicely done, everyone. Good job. Ooh, that got a bit, he bit hairy. You said your name was Snow White? Yes. Thank you. You really saved our skins back there. Don't mention it. How did you do that? You repair all our weapons in a one minute flat. Well, yeah, that too, but other than that, I just really don't, you know, it's just too much work <laughs> setting everything up. Uh, maybe she just blew some air into the chambers. Yes, I mean, no, it wasn't that simple. Matter, for goodness sake. What? It was just a little joke. Look at her, she's practically a child. Okay, okay, sorry. No, it's okay. Lily White pats out or Snow White on the shoulder. Thanks for saving us. I'm just glad you're safe, Lilith. You two know each other? Yeah, yeah, we've met before. As soon as my transformation was complete, I was assigned to the Goddess Squad. I wasn't confident enough, so I stayed shut in my room and focused on crafting weapons. Eventually, though, Lilith helped me get out of my shell, and I mustered up all the courage to join the squad properly. I'm glad to finally be part of the team. If your weapon is ever damaged or if you ever want to upgrade it, just give the Snow White a ring. As you can see, she's a real prodigy when it comes to weapons. Oh jeez, it's embarrassing when you put it like that. Is she, is she adorable or is she adorable? Very adorable. Playback ends. Okay, more stuff to collect. Uh, hungry. Okay, next. Proceeding to target. Ugh, hungry. I'll move as quickly as I can. On the move. So many of these, this will take ages to collect everywhere. On the move. Let me just pick up everything I see, honestly, and then we'll just do a full sweep. Like, I'll move as quickly as we are, like, I can. Third done the collecting these. On the move. Ugh, hungry. I'll move as quickly as I can. On route. Proceeding to target. Proceeding to target. Ugh, hungry. On the move. On route. Record number four, playback two. Ah, uh, 
Carl places her red sword back into the sheath. Cutting trees again? Are you sure about being a lumberjack? Isn't your true colon? If I'd have known you had a thing for cutting down trees, I would have given you an axe. <laughs> uh, I prefer to have my stream clean because I also like also put it on YouTube later and it's just weird with VTuber and everything. And even then, like, uh, setting up a good looking one costs a lot of money. You can go swinging your sword recklessly like that. That still have nothing better to do. Be gone and leave me be. You are making me lose my focus. Please, if you f lose focus just from a few remarks from me, I would say you're a failure as a swordsman. Why does Theo insist on interfering whenever I'm training? Ouch, harsh! You're just so skilled with a blade. Then it's frustrating seeing you uh, slum it by cutting up pieces of wood all the time. Right, you tell. Will you prefer a superior training method? You bet you're behind our will. I'm about to break it down to you right now. Oh, it's most interesting, I must admit. Go on. What is this method of speak, uh, speak stuff? I was watching this martial arts. I mean, I was reading a renowned ancient tome, and it said a true master of the sword never leaves a mark, even when they swing their blade. What does that mean? Exactly what I said. Look here. Like this, okay? Red Hood picks up a small stick. The writer of that book just grips his sword like so, and then shasha! He proceeded to slash and the leaf in front of him. Normally, this would mean the leaf would split into two halves, right? But this still remained intact. Isn't that interesting? Oh, I think I could accomplish the same feat. Huh? Really? Peace, thine eyes! Whoa! How do you do that? So long as one's hand is steady as the dice slashes, a challenge is at most certainly not. Do it again! Try it with this tree branch! Ah, this but a mere bagatelle. Now try it on the tree lock, if it's even possible. Of course it's possible. Red Hood proceeds to pick larger and larger objects for Scarlet to cleave. Okay, this is the final test. Pray tell. Why ever does Theo make mountains of molehills for this final trial? Because I want you to handle this! Red Hood places a huge fuel tank in front of Scarlet. If you can pull this off, I'll concede with a contest that you are the finest swordsman in the ever was. Forsooth, this will be the most challenging trial. You're right, but I see many YouTubers posting highlights with a VTube character. Yeah. Like getting, uh, like I can do art myself, but getting a good looking VTuber avatar would cost like 200, 300, sometimes more dollars. That's something I'm not just willing to spend, you know? Eventually, maybe. Not in the next future. Nevertheless, I shall venture forth undaunted. Darn, looks like it was a bit too much for you. Unfortunately, you left a pretty obvious mark on it. It's due to the enormity of the object, as well as its composition. An easy task, it certainly is it not. Don't tell me you're giving up already. Aren't you supposed to be the world's best snow swordsman? If you throw in the towel now, the title might mm, as well be null and void. Not a chance. I will press on until I succeed. Yeah! You're doing great, Scarlet. You can do it. I believe in you. What on earth is all this racket? What's going on here? Both of you, start explaining. Let's run. A fortune smile upon you. Hey, get back here, you two. Play back ends. I'll move as quickly as I can. I'll move as quickly as I can. 
On the move. All right, another one. Okay, record number four. I might check it out later, but right now I need to do this quickly because I have to work soon. The commander lies on the ground and stares at the sky, lost in thought. Are you daydreaming again? It's almost time for our meeting. You are lucky I was the one who found you spaced it out. If it had been Lila, she would have given you an ear earful. There's no meeting today. Huh? Really? You drank too much and forgot, you busybody. Uh, I guess so. Oh well. These things happen every once in a while. Even Nikki's aren't perfect. Anyway, what's this all about calling me a busybody? Lilith occasionally calls me that too. Is that supposed to be my new nickname for something? It should be in the... In... Under the stream. and the panels. Do you really not see what... Uh, why would you call it that? No, I don't. Just think about how about you conduct yourself. Like what? Well, to name just a few recent examples. If you put this here... Hmm, maybe not. I don't think that's gonna work. Yeah, you surprised me. What do you want? Yeesh, not the warmest welcome I've ever gotten. I'm here to lend a hand. What seems to be the problem? Need any help with the modifications? I used to be pretty good at sampling stuff back in my day. I'm sure that skill would extend to modifications as well. When you say you sampled things, I assume you're referring to plastic models. Yep. I knew it. You can't even properly maintain your own weapons. And you're here talking to me about... Getting into weapon assembly or modification? I think you're in dire need of a reality check. Red Hood puts a Snow White in a headlock with one arm and gives her a noogle with the other. Let me go! You know what I think? I think you underestimate me. I mean, what I say is... Fine, then why don't you give it a try? I'd love to, hand it over. Here. Nova attentively hands the weapon to Red Hood with a distrusting expression. There, you see, now that I've gotten a closer look, I think I've got this figured out. Hmm, yeah, yeah, that's it. Do you think what model this is? Of course I know. For this type of model, you need to attach it in the opposite direction. Huh? Wait, if you do that, it will shatter and... With a hinge pitch thing, the gun's various parts are sent scattering in all directions. Eh, yeah, oops, guess I remember the direction wrong. Sorry about that. Ah, I knew this would happen. Just go and leave me be. I didn't make you upset, did I? It was a mistake, honest. I replace any parts that you need. So lighten up, why don't you? Really? Have I ever lied to you? All the time. Ah, oh, you're adorable. Ah, oh, wait. That tickles. Alright. Unwrap. Another one. Ah, uh, Rapunzel opens the door of the confessional and sits in the chair. Oh lord, I've sent a filthy book Red Hood insists on showing me keeps haunting in my mind. Perhaps that is why even uh, when I see innocuous things like tree branches, I instead see a man's. Even when I glance at my own staff, I see it. I'll check it out later, can I? I'm brushing my teeth and gaze at the toothbrush with a round tip covered in white, pumping it in and out of my mouth, overflowing with white. Ah, I can't! It just keeps happening! What has happened to me? Has my mind been tainted by that filthy book? Please, Lord, save my mind from impurity! Ah, huh. someone's voice can be heard from the next room. My child. Uh, who's there? I'm the god of desire. What? I've never heard of such a god. Um, well, that is because I only manifest before those who would lustful minds. What? Lustful minds? Did, did, did you hear all of that just now? Every last word. But calm yourself, my child. How can someone who serves the Lord be so careless? Steady thy spirit and then listen. Heard your appeal. You wish to prevent yourself from getting worse, do you not? 
That, that is true. But Rapunzel sits back down again. Is there a way? One must fight fire with fire. Evil can only be controlled by other evil. And so you must immerse yourself in impurity. Your thoughts, your senses. You must bathe in smut. Huh? Even more than I do now? Yes. You must inundate yourself with all that is lewd until you are immune to this wicked pool. What is that? Until now, you have only experienced wickedness in three dimensions. Now we'll experience it in 4D. 4D? We'll experience it the real thing. Yes, after all, there is a man amongst us. You must catch him by surprise. Huh? Red Hood. Get out of here. Red Hood? Alright, you caught me. I have heard your concerns, scientists, and taken them to heart. Do as I have told you, and you might yet be able to escape from uh, your troubles. Look deep inside you, and you will find that your desires have been left unfull. I told you to get out! Alright, alright, I'm coming. You're gonna yank my ear off. Rapunzel, I'll be taking Red Hood with me. You'll be on your own. Uh, if you need to let off some steam, feel free. Grrrr! Hiya! Red Hood! Play back and. Alright. Proceeding to target. Music. Uh, hungry. Music. I'll move as quickly as I can. Music. Uh, hungry. And another story. Record number four, number three. It's lovely, sunny day. And with a pleasant breeze to boot. Perfect weather for going for a stroll. Parasol and Tao. You're bang on about that, miss. You're looking up quite fetching today as well. Thank you for the compliment, but I've told you not to call me that. How can I not? You practically exude elegance holding around that parasol. I told you just as many times not to be self-conscious about me addressing you that way. You always need to have the final word, don't you? I can stand losing. If I lose, I can sleep at night. It's the same for me. You don't say. We are practically birds of a feather. That we are. Would you like to join me for a walk? There's somewhere I want to show you. Oh, what's got into you all of a sudden? Maybe I'm so bold as to accompany such a lovely lady on this afternoon stroll? You may. After all, that sweet talk uh, back there, and this is how you are going to treat me? What are you talking about? Yes. Red Hood gestures toward Dorothy's parasol. Hey, Violet. You are hogging it all to yourself. It's meant for one person. Also, be warned. Don't even think about trying to sneak up on me like you do with Snow White. Ouch. How can you say such cruel things? I have no intentions of doing that any such thing. I know perfectly well how much you hate that kind of stuff. Good. Although hearing it confirm it kinda makes me want to do it even more. Anyway, is this the place you were talking about? It sure is pretty. But that cliffs looks a bit danger. Ah! What are you doing? Darn, I my skull clated. I was hoping I could nudge you over to the edge. With my parasol while we're distracted. Like I told you, I can't stand losing either. Wait, you're just having fun, right? This is all a big joke. Let's use our words, okay? Are you going to keep calling me miss? Okay, okay, I won't call you that anymore. Just stop aiming that thing at me. Very well. Red Hood lets out a sigh of relief as Dorothy withdraws her parasol. You weren't actually serious, were you? Half and half. However, you did see that you'd stop calling me miss, so... Sure, for today. I didn't say until when. So for today and today only, I won't call you miss. You tricked me. Tricked is a bit strong word, don't you think? I was only joking. Hey, hey! Get that parcel away from me! Please use your words! Playback ends. Alright. I guess that's gonna be another story. Oh, that's music. And that's another music song. Okay. Anything under the stairs? On the move. No. 
Proceeding to target. Let me check this <sighs> bottom here. Hungry. No. I'll move as quickly as I can. That's all clean as well. Snow White press on the move. I can see a few things here. Unroute. Two hundred. Uh, hungry. Two hundred. Proceeding to target. Unroute. I'll move as quickly as I can. Two hundred. Is that it? On the move. On the move. Oh, there's uh, one more here. Hungry. And another song. Unroute. Okay. Let's go to the top floor. Proceeding to target. I'll move as quickly as I can. Another story. A record number two. Number one. Mutual dislike. Like oil and water. Now say what do you want to say? Today I shall edify thee on my di the pleasure of using one's own body. With that sort? No thanks, I'm not in the mood. I don't want to get my clothes dirty. I've been trying hard to keep them clean for the past few days. Even better. I shall see to it that your garments are soiled true and true. Have you ever listened to yourself speak? You sound uncouth and uneducated. Since uh, thou dost uh, accuse me of these crimes every day, it's only appropriate for me to act a part. Whenever Scarlet and Dorothy meet, they are immediately at each other's throats like two wild dogs. Therefore, there are few words in the English language that can accurately describe the animosity between these two. Try and block this. You are really persistent. Wow, these two sure are full of piss and vinegar. Charlotte, Dorothy, are you fighting again? This is the 24th time today. I actually believe it was 26. Regardless. I'm getting tired of having to clean up after you two every time you get into a tussle. Oh, so it's you who's always cleaning up all the mess. I was wondering. For Sooth, I believe that was Dorothy, for she was obsessed with cleanliness. But you, you've been pawning off your responsibility, Snow, Snow White? Give me a break. I didn't know such thing. Moreover, you never even considered cleaning up after yourself for a single second. Steady thy tongue. So long as what I require is within reach, it's enough to mind uh, sensibilities. What need is there to spend time frivolously faffling about with this and that? You're a real slob, you know that? What did you call me? This impertinent tongue waggling against me is because you have little notion of what true slob actually constitutes. Scarlet, Dorothy, would you too please cut it out? Or at the very least, please clean up after you've had a row. What? Why are you putting me in a headlock? Steady now, Snow White. I think this little scuffle of theirs will last at least another hour or two, wouldn't you say? Well, let's just let them be. But I haven't said all I wanted to say. Now let go! After Red Hood and Snow White leave, after the sun had set uh, and dinner time had long since passed, Scarlet and Dorothy's squabble continued unabated. Until Lilywise and Commander came out. It put a stop to it. Playback ends. All right. On the move. Another song. The target. Another story. Record number two, number two. So, as soon as the commander and I aren't around, this is what happens. A little wise surveys the room around her, which looks as if a hurricane has just blown through it. I've done all I can to try and keep them apart, but they were particularly nasty with each other today. I didn't dare uh, intervene. I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? They are the ones responsible for this. Where are they now? Well... Sure enough, she sold my shirt. Now it's all stained, and it's not coming off. Great, just great. She's a complete vulgarian. Utterly lacking in all etiquette. Total brood who's always spoiling for a fight. She insists on sparing with me even if she can't win. Not to mention how she never cleans up after herself. And her room has all those animal pelts lying around everywhere. It's revolting. 
Whenever I step in there, I feel as if a box, box are rolling over me. I can't find a single redeeming factor about her. Hmm. I need to break. Dorothy walks off. Meanwhile. Hmm. Such bluster, such haughtiness she has. I failed in taking the wind from her sails. It's rather peculiar. I was convinced I could break her, given her fixation and cleanliness. I hardly expected our skirmish to last for so long. Hmm. Perhaps a frontal assault is not the answer. Aye, this is impossible. She's not about a uh, conceited dunderhead. Sharp tongued dandy who's as shallow as she is full of herself. And perhaps most egregiously of all, she has looked down upon the path of the sword. I will break her yet, and I will do so through direct confrontation. Yes, I will make, make it so. But first, before that, I believe I must conv convalesce for a moment. Scarlet leaves. Playback ends. Unwrap. Ugh, uh. Hungry. I'll move as quickly on, as I pick can. Pick it up. Nice. Proceeding to target. Unwrap. Nice. I'll move as quickly as I can. Another story. No, zero, zero, one, zero, one. Are you saying they can cure corruption? Yes, it's a disease. And so we have to treat it. This is an everyday cold, you know? You know more than anyone else. What I've been through. I've been corrupted. By the raptures. No, you don't have to remind me. They're not bother. You know it doesn't work. That's not for certain. Just forget it. I'd rather go out and die an honorable death on the field than spend my days getting turned into pincushion. You're free to go out and fight all you want. But before you do, just let me draw some blood. That's precisely what I don't want to do. Why? Are you scared of needles? Hardly har! You know that's not it. Is it because it might confirm there's no antidote? Are you so afraid that I might not find a cure? We haven't even tried it. The least we can do is try. We have to do our best to fight this thing. We can beat it. I just stop talking about it. You are going to throw your hands up and give up? Is that it? Run away like a coward without even fighting? Is that what you really want? What else am I supposed to do? Fine, let's say we go through it with this. What will it change? Will it get rid of the corruption? Will it prolong my life? It will change your mindset. You'll be putting your best left foot forward and you'll be less likely to give up. You're not a lost cause. You're surrounded by people who care about you. You have to tell yourself that you want to live. I'm begging you. I'm asking you to trust me, just this once. Give me a chance to try and cure you. I'll do my best to fight against this corruption. Can you give me that much? My counsel. I can just sit back and get this claim, uh, this claim here. I don't want to lose a colleague. And a friend. Uh, I never thought I would hear such thing from someone who lives such a sh uh, sheltered life. You're really laying it on fake, aren't you? Well, I was a potential candidate on the next pope, after all. I've always had a proclivity for glibness. Uh, fine. I suppose uh, it would be a bit disgraceful to give up without a fight. If you're that insistent, I'll give it a shot. Red Hood. Red Hood extends her arm. Take your damn blood! Let's see what you're up against here. Thank you for putting your faith in me. Ah, so corny! Give it a rest and take blood sample already! Red Hood rolls up her sleeve and extends her arm out once again. Okay, then think. Rapunzel sticks the needle into Red Arm's hood. In Red Hood arms, mid sentence. Ah, you didn't say it hurt? Don't be such a crybaby. This is a perfectly normal shot. Normal my ass, are you sure you stuck me properly? Of course I did. At least it felt right, right when it went in. It hurts like hell, how many more of these do we have to do? Let's see, seven more to go. What? That's it, I'm down. Play back hands. On the move. Nice. So that is cleaned as well. Hungry. Wait, there, there's one more here. Ugh, hungry. Uh-huh. Record number one, two. 
Rapunzel has a vial of green liquid to Red Hood. What is this toxic looking sludge? It doesn't even look edible. It's medicine. Medicine? For who? What do you think? Don't tell me that this is the cure. That's right. Based on the data we've compiled, and from the analyzing of the blood we, that we drew from you, I formulated a preliminary antidote. You've already come up with prototype? You're even more skilled than I thought. I'm not the one who made it. We made VTC to thank for that. My role was simply to analyze the data and hand it over to the VTC. Hey now, don't charge it yourself. That's super impressive. I'm starting to feel spoiled with you looking after me so much. Stop babbling and try it! I'm supposed to observe your reaction and give VTC a status report. Alright, down the hatch then. Red Hood takes the green liquid from Punzel. Um, why are you drinking it? Well, it's just, it looks absolutely disgusting. Medicine isn't supposed to taste good. I was actually thinking about this recently. If they can make all this medication that treats me previously in curable diseases, how come they can't just uh, s s make some of that taste half decent? Do they intentionally make them taste bad to torture us? Well, honestly, I would swear they derive some kind of sick pleasure from watching people suffer. What? That's absurd. Why would you force people to do such a thing? Honestly, I don't think about force feeding. That's on you. Stop kidding around and drink it already. Uh, oof, I'm really not thinking this color. Hmm. It reeks too. Red Hood. Okay, fine, I'll drink it. Here we go. Red Hood downs the green liquid and all in one go. Good lord. What is this? It tastes like mop water that's been left in the sun. I don't even know what it tastes like. Ah, I think I'm gonna barf. I don't know, nauseous. How are you feeling? Any dizziness or fever? Do your hands or legs feel numb? If you're asking, hmm, I'm not really sure. But I really do think it's gonna happen. What? I'm gonna vomit. No, don't. If you do, you'll need to drink it all over again. Blur. Red Hood. Play Baggins. I'll move as quickly as I can. Record number one, three. I don't know when it started, but Saint has dropped looking me in the eye. More medicine? Huh? What are you so startled for? I'm asking if I have to take more medicine. Oh, yes, yes. Come to think of it, you stopped taking blood samples. I couldn't get enough of them before. That, that's because I know how painful it is for you when I do them to them. Are you sure it's not because you don't need my data anymore? No, no, of course we need it. I just wanted to give you a little break from it. That's all. Even now. Is VTC making any progress? Hmm? Well, they're continuing their research on the treatment, but progress has been slow. She can't look me in the eye. Scientists, it's medicine. Yes. Is it really treatment for corruption? Lately, it tastes more like vitamins than anything else. Is there something wrong with the medicine? There have also been whole stacks of research papers on her desk. Is this smell bothering you again? She hasn't mentioned anything about new development of an antidote. I've tried to make it less offensive than before. I can see the hope fading from her eyes. Rapunzel. Huh? Am I going to make it? Why are you using my real name? Can you still say that this corruption is treatable? Red Hood? It's nothing. I just haven't called you by my own name for a long time. This medicine is still hideous looking. Shouldn't they have been able to find a way to make it easier on the eyes by now? Her hands are trembling ever so slightly. She kisses me anxiously. The corner of her mouth furrows hesitantly. The air is filled with a sense of regret and sorrow. I already know the answer. It's not possible. Things haven't felt right. For a while now. There's no cure. What are you saying? I guess I don't have much of a choice. Another day. And another day of these disgusting medicine. Thank you for everything. Route. Okay, we have On the move. like 10, 11 more of these. The target. Record number two, three. Do do do. Dorothy has an to her favorite place, where she always takes her afternoon tea. A 
place with breathtaking scenery and where uh, gorgeous flowers abound. A place she can call home. But, hmm, great hell, what brings the uh, here of all places? I was about to ask you. The very same thing. This is where I always drink my... Not wanting to reveal how much this place means to her. Dorothy stopped herself. Instead, she fixates her uh, uh, gaze on certain something in Scarlet's hands. What are you drinking? Oh, this? Some floral tea. The scenery here is rather breathtaking. I venture here from time to time to enjoy a cup of tea. You're telling me drink floral tea? Do my words fall off uh, on deaf ears? Would you perchance like to try? This made from golden root. Scarlet hands the mm, cup over to Cordorophy, who hesitates for a moment after receiving it. The aroma is undeniably alluring, however, and she finds herself almost subconsciously taking a sip. Mm -hmm. This is marigold. The sweet aftertaste is a divine. Where do you get this? I brewed it myself. What? You brewed this tea? The entire thing? All by yourself? I beg thee, avert thy gaze. Do not regard me as if I were a freak of nature. My interest in herbal tea is long established. Many horticular samples have feasted uh, around my chambers. Have you not seen them? No, oh, I've never been able to get past the animal skins. The flowers are more diminutive. Perhaps that explains why thy eyes did not chance upon them. At any rate, to be able to recognize which stain rain thou art imbibing from a merely one sip is impressive. It does seem thou art erudite from the subject of tea. Well, if I'm being honest, this is a place I come often to enjoy a cup of tea. Oh, just like me. You have a good taste. Well, in that regard at least, I suppose you do as well. And I must admit, this tea is superb. Ah, so thou art found the golden rot tea? Very much so, yes. You are more than welcome to come and partake along with me. I'll think about it. Why do I ask? Why do you hold the cup in such a peculiar fashion? What do you mean? Thy pinky is protruding to outwards when you take a sip. Perhaps the digit uh, inflicted with an ailment of some sort? You pay attention to the smallest things. Call me crazy, but I've felt for some time that you are particularly interested in me. Interest? Or soothe, perhaps to do you could say it so? Perseverance ensures success. Huh? It is a stoke has claimed. I've always been observing you. So you've been stalking me? In what world is that acceptable behavior? We both have finished our tea. Let us go on for another round. No, I don't want to get my clothes dirty. They are already sold as is. A bit more grime would be a negatory importance. I really can't stand you. Hmm, where are you going, Dorothy? Just to retreat from me? No, I'm heading back to the base. Play back ends. All right. Proceeding to target. There's one more there. Some music. We have ten more of them somewhere. On route. Can see two of them. Ugh, hungry. What's this package? Hmm, did you order something, Commander? No. It looks to me there could be a person inside. It looks to me like there could be a person inside. Could we open it? Absolutely not. <coughs> Sorry, my voices. Can't do these fucking female voices for too long. Absolutely not. What has been rigged with explosives? Even if that ends being true, you would be the one in danger, not us. Then, can someone stand in front of me? What? What's so wrong about me valuing your own life? There's nothing wrong with it, it's just... You don't exactly instill confidence when you say things like that. Who cares about making others feel good, when your own life is at stake? Fine, Rapunzel, you come to stand in front of me, and be sure to turn that scrambler of yours. Very well. Where is Snow White, by the way? She's in the workshop, apparently, and she has something urgent she needed to take care of. Running away from danger, huh? Such cowardice. Can I open it then? 
Wait, let me catch my breath first. Lil Voice lifts up the lid of the steel box. Nothing's happening. Surprise! Ow, my legs have fallen asleep. What in the world? How in the world did my legs fall asleep? I'm a Nikkei. Who are you? Give me a second, will ya? Let me stretch my legs first. Red Hood struggles to stand up. Ooh. Ooh, that's better. Matter. I think this is... Yes, I believe she's our new member who's supposed to arrive today. Ah, so you're all the goddess squad? The name's Red Hood. Any chance of any of us uh, like old music? No one? Then get a load of this. One listen and you'll never be able to get enough. What do you say we were again? Red Hood. I've been assigned to the goddess squad. I think they said uh, I was the Grimm's model number 5 or something like that. If you ask me though, I should clearly be number 1. Could you perhaps explain what you were doing in that box? Well, it would be boring if I just walked in, wouldn't it? I wanted to give you all a little surprise. But you all took your sweet time. It's good to be cautious, but you should have been a little consideration for the person stuff inside the box. I don't think many people tend to think that way. Red Hood clambers out of the box. So, you all live in this airship? The views are to die for. Good stuff in here though. Can I crack open a window? I don't think that's a good idea. No, fine then. Where's my room? I prefer one with an ICU. Oh, and does anyone have a spare, char spare charger? I was in a bit of a hurry getting here, and I forgot mine. How did I put this? It becomes a bit strong. I agree. Still, it's nice to have someone with a bit of energy. If you say so. Play back ends. Alright. Uh, I'll move as quickly as I can. Now, where is the rest that I need to collect? On the move. On route. Proceeding to target. Ugh, hungry. I'll move as quickly as I can. There should be like seven plus more. I'll move as quickly as I can. I don't see anything. On route. On the move. Proceeding to target. Ugh. Hungry. Okay, it might be one of those that reset once you reload a page. So let's go back to menu and open it again. Uh, let me do the other stuff as well first. So enhance equipment once. Advice. Close. Well, yeah, next. All right, that's that. Now I need to do the dailies in the arc. Which would be the interception and then the simulation room. Gotta be careful so none of my characters die. Because that's what happened last time and it was barely barely able to kill him. Barely enough. Getting ready. 
Behold my ultimate blade. Show them no quarter. Show them no quarter. I've got to protect my sister. Oh, that hurts. Okay. Oh, so far. That should be enough. There we go. So, uh, so yesterday when I played this off stream, I got two crystals. Now we got another one. So that's three crystals. Fancy a drink? I may look like a bunny, but I'll three crystals to use. Let me actually do the simulation room as well. You've already reached this point. Mm, not looking good. What purpose will I pop? Mm, not looking good. The simulation Ooh, called an attack. Room. That's huge. It's going to be a bore. It doesn't really matter here, but the simulation room feels rather stuffy. I'd love to have the simulation room feels rather stuffy. I'd love third simulation is coming to an end. Impressive. You've made it far enough. Uh, wake me up when the battle is over. All right, let me kill these. After all that, I deserve a compliment. Okay, is it enough for 100 or do I need to do something else? I didn't do dispatch yet. That's what I need to do. Uh, dispatch. Commencing operation. Leave the support to me. Alright, that's a hundred, and we also get the ten from weekly, right? Not quite. Alright, that's fine. Uh, elevator. Complete. Four to eighty. And now we just need to do the event. First one. Unwrapped. Record six. One. Hmm. Red Hood said there was good material in the human body here. Rapunzel rummages through the drawer. Videotape. Rapunzel grabs the videotape from inside the drawer. What a talk. This must be it. How do I play it? Ah, there it is. Rapunzel inserts the tape into the video player connected to the TV. And press this play. Oh yeah! Ah, oh my goodness! What is this? Rapunzel quickly covers her eyes with her hands. Then she peeks through the slight cracks between her fingers. Good god, is that even physically possible? No, I can't watch any more of this. I should be studying instead of watching such obscene footage. But is this not studying as well? Studying the human body? Yes, that's it. This is valuable research to me uh, to better understand the human body. Ah, no! 
What am I thinking? Save me, Lord! Oh, yes. But then again, this is a perfectly reasonable way to learn about human bodies, so... Yes, I need to educate myself on these matters. Just for a bit longer. Just a little... Arr! Rapunzel removes her hand from her eyes and fixes her unobstructed gaze on the TV. Rapunzel, what are you doing here? Ah! Rapunzel quickly turns off the TV off. Rapunzel? Rapunzel just as quickly removes the tape from the video player. And tosses it back into the drawer. And that was just a... Uh, when a man and a woman... No, I mean the mixing of male and... Uh, no, 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 the union of yin and yang. Huh? That's right, I was watching the mysteries of the human body. Yes, the human body truly is such a mystifying construct, is it not? So very interesting. I don't have a clue what you're talking about. Never mind. It's nothing important. Why don't we head outside? Do you think... Uh, do you want to go for a walk? A walk? Right now? Rapunzel drags Snow White outside. Hey, wait a second. Playback ends. Okay. I'll move as quickly as I can. Ugh, hungry. So we need to find seven more of them. As quickly as I can. Proceeding to target. Ugh, hungry. On the move. Ugh, hungry. Unroute. Proceeding to target. On the move. I'll move as quickly as I can. I'll move as quickly as I can. Proceeding to target. On the move. Unroute. Ugh, hungry. On the move. Ugh, hungry. I don't know. I'll have to do these off stream. Are hidden, and then I'll just uh, do a recording, I suppose. If there are any more stories, because there's a lot of them. Okay, let me go do one more thing, and then I'm gonna call it uh, in the outpost. Nope. Command center. Okay, so there's no reward for these. Yeah, apparently there's one more BGM. Uh, oh yeah, and the shop. Let me buy the stuff from the shop first. We'll do the crystal upgrades tomorrow and yeah, everything else as well. Yeah, I really do not see anything. I'll have to have a look. Oh, it's shop. Ugh, hungry. Alright, that's that. And I'll see you guys next I'll time. As quickly as I can. Take care. Bye bye.